Let's paint some cabinets. These are uh, old wooden kitchen cabinets here and here and down here. And these are the uh, cabinet faces or the doors. Now I'm going to take them out in the bright sunlight and go over exactly how it's done and how to make these old cabinets look new again. There's a few tricks to it, but this is all part of my painting series. Here's one of our cabinet doors, along with a few others. Now, the first thing that you want to do when you do any kind of cabinets is you want to mark them somehow. Because if you'll notice, there's four different cabinet doors right there. Okay, well, I'm not sure where they go, but they all could be custom fit to fit in their own cabinets. Therefore, after you get them painted, they even look different. So what you want to do is you want to mark cabinet one, maybe on the hinge here where you're not going to paint because the hinge is going to cover it, or somewhere that you can tell which one went where. The second thing we have to do is take off all the hardware and put it in a couple of plastic Ziploc bags. Now I've learned that from hard lessons where you may start on the project and get sidetracked for a week or two and hell, hardware disappears. It happens all the time. That's why you want to put it in a Ziploc bag so you know what it is and label it too. Then what we have to do is we're going to use wood filler to get, and this comes in a lot of different uh, varieties, it's the same thing. It's made for hard wood, okay? It's not um, hole filler for walls, it's made for hard wood. And then we're going to use some simple green just to wipe off the surface and get, get, uh, get a good uh, clean surface because your hands have got oil on them over the years and if you have a cleaner surface you'll have better surface surface adhesion and hell why not do it right then what we'll do is we'll sand down since this is semi gloss or high gloss it's probably semi gloss it has a semi gloss sheen and with semi gloss you need to scuff it up just a little bit for the new paint to stick the scuff marks in the sandpaper are tiny little furrows that's the paint gets in those furrows and dries and sticks. That's what keeps the, the, the paint on the, the boards. You don't have to do that on flat or satin. Sat, satin. Then of course before I start this, I got one of these. And I got a lime and uh, salt. And I can't read any of the writing, but the stuff talks to me all the time. And I know exactly what it says. So, I'm going to start with one of these. Then we're going to clean a couple of the cabin doors, do a little sanding, and I'll show you how to use the wood filler, which is no great mystery. Very simple if you follow these steps. This is my deal on um, simply painting cabinets by brush. Okay. Now I've uh, cleaned and scuffed this cabinet face and the other side with a, I use a sanding pad because if you just use your fingers, only this amount of area is going to get on the board. But if you use this, you have like 15 square inches of pressure all the way around. So that's why these are real good. They're only a buck. So I used 220 and I roughed it up just a little bit and then I'll show you what we're going to fix. These cabinet doors are maybe 55 years old. I'll, I'll see if it'll, if we can see something here. Um, like uh, there's a, there's a di divot right there where there was an old um, handle. There's a couple of nicks down in here. And you don't have to get it perfect, just the really deep stuff is what we're looking at. So, then what we want to do is get our wood filler. And like I said, you can get, get, buy this anywhere. And when you buy it, you want to have enough water in it so it goes on smooth, but not, not too much water. Because if you have too much water, it'll be air bubbles. So if you get it and it goes on kind of chalky or kind of um, 
like uh, how can I describe it kind of like a real dry cake batter that's not what you want you want to just open it up take a teaspoon of water in there see like and and get it so it's a good consistency that's good right there and it's way too much this does dry pretty fast and it sands but you have to you have to dry sand it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit right here just to show you just a little tiny bit right there now the, the trick is to put on enough where putty knife here the trick is to put on enough to where you cover the hole and get it just a little bit above the hole because you got to remember I'll tell you what when this stuff dries it dries hard and to sand it off if you have got maybe a hundred of these things it it takes a while so if you put on you, you got to remember it's water-based and like I said uh, matter is not created nor destroyed it's only changed from one form to the other according to physics which means that if there's water in here and the water evaporates this putty wood filler will shrink so you want to put just a little bit more than you need on and it takes a little bit of practice but after it dries then you just sand it smooth and you use your hands to feel it if you can't feel it it's okay it takes a little bit of practice remember Painting is, is an art, it takes practice, but there's not too many manuals on, on how to do it right for, for layman's term. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, put wood filler on this and we'll keep on going. And the one thing we haven't discussed is paint and why. This is, it doesn't matter where you buy it, but the thing that matters is right here. This says, Interior, exterior, high gloss enamel. 